The 36 volt battery in this problem is connected to three capacitors in series. We're given all the capacitances and in part A asked to calculate the charge on capacitor 3. I'll start doing this by reducing the circuit to its equivalent with one equivalent capacitor. Because the capacitors are in series, the equivalent capacitance is given by the reciprocal relation. After we substitute the values and calculate, taking the reciprocal, we find that the equivalent capacitance is 2.1 microfarads. Now we can find the charge on this equivalent capacitor. It's C equivalent times the voltage across it, which is the battery voltage, 36 volts. When you calculate this, you find that it is 76 microcoulombs. To see how this relates to the charge on capacitor 3, let me color code the plates. This plate that I'll draw red has charge positive Q equivalent and it corresponds to this plate closest to the battery. This one in yellow has charge negative Q equivalent and it corresponds to the plate closest to the negative side of the battery. In between, the plates alternate in sign but each has the same magnitude of charge. So we can see that each capacitor has the same magnitude of charge on every plate and they're all equal to the equivalent capacitance. So the charge on capacitor 3 equals the equivalent charge 76 microcoulombs. Part B asks us to find the energy stored in all three capacitors. We can do this in one of two ways. We can add up the energy stored in each capacitor or we can realize that all those charges are equal and the voltages sum to the battery voltage, 36 volts, and rewrite this as the energy stored in the equivalent capacitor. Either way you calculate it, you find the energy is 1.4 times 10 to the minus 3 joules. In part C, the battery is removed from the circuit and the capacitors are reconnected with all their positive plates together. So the reconfigured circuit will look like this. All the red or positive plates connected, all the negative plates connected. And we're asked to calculate the voltage across this parallel combination. I'll call it V sub P. What happens is that the total charge on the red plates is the same as it ever was, but it redistributes itself so there's the same voltage across each capacitor. So we know the total charge, it's 3 times 76 microcoulombs, 228 microcoulombs, but we don't know what these individual charges are anymore. One other thing we do know is that the voltage across the parallel combination is the same as the voltage across each capacitor. So if I write that and substitute the relation Q over C for each one, We can realize from this first expression that because C1 equals C2, Q1 must equal Q2. So I'll come over here and replace Q1 with Q2. And then if we take this last equality, we see from the numbers in the problem statement that C2 is twice C3, and that means that Q2 must be twice Q3 to keep the ratio or the voltage the same. So I'll replace that, rewrite this expression one more time, which allows us to solve for the charge on capacitor 3 in this parallel combination. That equals 228 microcoulombs divided by 5, 45.6 microcoulombs. We can substitute that into this expression along with the capacitance and calculate to find that there's 11 volts across these capacitors in the parallel combination. The last thing we're asked to find is the total energy stored in this new parallel combination. And as before, I'll do that by finding the energy stored in the equivalent circuit. The three capacitors in parallel can be replaced by one equivalent capacitance, and the energy stored in that equivalent capacitor is one half the equivalent capacitance times the voltage across it squared. For a parallel combination, the equivalent capacitance is the sum 
So we add those three capacitances, multiply by the 11 volts squared to find that the energy in this parallel combination is lower than it used to be. It's 1.3 times 10 to the minus 3 joules.